Hi, I'm a huge personal CRM fan. In fact, I'm actually building one myself. In this video, I'm going to review one of the most uh, popular personal CRM out there today. Dex is a Y Combinator startup that was founded already more than a year ago. They went through this uh, startup accelerator program um, and since then uh, have kept going, improving their product and adding more features. It's usually one of the first personal CRMs that people find. And today I'm going to review it with you as a founder and tech professional. Let's go. I'll get started simply by clicking on the get started button. Excellent. And I will sign up properly. So, and I will use a password here. Replace this. Okay. And we sign up. Okay. I'm happy to connect, obviously. I think that's really great. Um, the best personal CRMs out there should connect with as much data as they can. Um, Google Calendar is a good start. Um, Google Contacts is definitely a good way to go. Let me connect. Ideally, I would want you to connect with um, Gmail as well. That's what we do at NetApp. Um, but it's already good. And like I think uh, calendar data is very powerful. Okay, well... Let's wait. And we're back. Okay, I now have a list of all the people I've recently met uh, on calendar events. And I can add people. Okay, then I will add a few. Okay. Perfect. Then we have more people here. I will just keep adding. I like the pictures, but there are not a lot of pictures, so now it's, it's a lot of stuff. I'm kind of struggling to figure out who to add here. I do recognize some familiar names, but otherwise, just a lot of stuff. Hmm. Okay. And now I have even more people. Yeah, pictures do help a lot. I'd hope there are more of them. Okay, let's get started with this. Continue. The Chrome extension. That's something they've done very well. I think um, we will install this extension now. Um, they've built a Chrome extension that allows them to scrape data from Facebook and LinkedIn. Uh, I think that's, that's pretty powerful. So I will install it now. It does require access to my browsing history, which I'm not sure I understand and I don't like that much. Um, but hey, we'll, we'll go with it. So open Dex, click on the Dex, add a contact. Import. Okay, so let's click on the extension and I will click on the import contact button from LinkedIn. This took much longer than expected. I actually sat there for something like 10 15 minutes, um, but it seems to be done, so let's keep going from now on. So, done and I'm getting redirected back to, let me remove this, back to Dex. Okay, import more contacts. No, that will be fine. Most of my contacts are on LinkedIn, so it doesn't matter for me really. Star contacts, so now I need to choose who, who's most important. Okay. How does it work? Okay, let's just click on them. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll choose a few people that are important. I'll most likely miss tons of them because... But now we have pictures, that's nice, I like that. Yeah, okay, I'll go through a few. Many 
many people here okay okay 26 people let's let's I think that's a good number of people to start let's continue now organized by group friends networking colleagues So do I need to add people here? Okay. Um, I'll create a new group um, called Startup. And I will add, oh, and college, yeah. Okay, I'll, this guy I know from college. Then these are my, Startup buddies, Stefan and Leo, okay. And friends is everything else, to be honest. Um, okay, let's go like this. To, I don't want to spend too much time, neither just on the onboarding, but so we have a good idea of how things are. Okay, I've imported my contacts. Now I need to take action. Once people are added, set how often you want to keep in touch. That's something I honestly do dislike a lot, and I'll explain you why, um, but let's keep going. Leave notes after you meet with a contact, leave a note or set a reminder. That That's cool. I think note-taking is important. And now we are finally in the DEX view. Okay, let me make my view smaller, and I will move my own thing here. Okay. So what I see now is a list of all my contacts. I can go on someone and then there on the right I see the image and description is imported from LinkedIn and we have their LinkedIn account. Okay, so that's Basically now we are at the Google contact stage plus it's a bit nicer because oh and these are just the start contacts The real contacts are below. Yeah, okay um, But that's pretty much it. What's this? command bar Okay, so here we have some shortcuts. That's nice And here are reminders so let's have this test reminder Okay, that's literally like a to-do app. Can I use like add to talk about a specific contact? No. Okay, don't see this being useful, but why not? And then I can download a contact and go just keep in touch. Okay, that's interesting. So now we have a, a Trello board. Um, with all my contact contacts, I can, I can barely put them in different buckets of when I want to reach out. The thing is, well, first of all, this is going to take a lot of time, 300 contacts. Um, just putting them into buckets will also be quite random. Like, there, like the thing is, that I just want to stay in touch, right? Uh, when exactly is difficult to say. But let me have a try at this. Um, yeah, honestly, I have no clue where to put whom. It's, um, but, and that's the thing, like, I, I know most personal CRM apps work like this, where you have to set up reminders for your contacts, like, oh, remind me to reach out every month or every week or every year. But to me, that's just super random. And the way we've built this at NAT is basically, we look at your data and we figure out a trend. So, for example, if I've been in touch with someone every month for the past year, then just let me know once uh, I haven't reached out in a month. And if there is someone I've been in touch with every three months, you know, like they could basically do this categorizing on their own. Um, and I would save an hour because this is literally going to take an hour if I want to go to this, this 295 contacts. Okay, let's move on. Merge and fix. Nothing here, that's interesting, okay. Location. 
that's all the places my contacts come from, probably based on their LinkedIn data, yeah. What is surprising to me is I did connect my, my Google Contacts data, yet I don't see this being here. I just see my LinkedIn data. And all these people, like, I, I do have their email in real life, but here I don't. So it's, okay, why not? But at least, like, that, that's a nice way to, to, to see. But to, to be fair, I could also just go on LinkedIn and, and look for a specific location. And I don't have any birthdays because I guess we would need to use Facebook for this. Okay. So my first kind of, uh, besides the UI being pretty nice and I like the, okay. Oh, an onboarding. Let's see. Wait. We missed this. Okay. Adding your first person. Enter the name, I'll add myself. And I will add to Dex. Contact info, yep. Groups. Yeah, it takes a lot of work. Uh, it takes a lot of work to each contacts one on one to import. Yeah, I agree, and that's why I connected my Google contacts. Okay, and search, and that's it. Nice. Okay, yeah. So, so what I was saying is basically, this is not very actionable. I I have nothing to do here, and I I, I don't get any kind of aha moment. I'm wondering if this is. So obviously like writing notes about people that seems cool. And I want to do this. And so I add an event, hello. And this is a note or a meeting. So that I think is 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 useful. And one thing I will not be able to show in this video and that's that I think Dex is great at is basically um before your next meeting for example, before my next meeting with Max, they will send me an email and basically show me the whole timeline of all the interactions we had. So they will show me this note and they will show, they will, they will show, show me this hello thing, which is pretty useful. So let's say I had a meeting with Max today, I write a note, and then in two months I um, come back uh, and have another meeting. I will just get an email with like the note I wrote two months ago. Um, that That is something I like a lot. Um, Okay, I'm wondering if that's it, to be honest. Um, update last interaction, not sure what that means. So I just added an interaction? No, yeah. Yeah, okay. Download the vCard. So to me, this is, this is really a, a contact management app without any, kind of, this is not helping me to stay in touch, really. When will I be notified that I need to keep in touch with the people I spend hours setting up here? I'm not sure. Let's have a look at their other feature, request a feature, Dex Premium. Okay. Let's have a look at their premium offering. Unlimited contacts, web, Chrome. Okay. Yeah, let's have a look at the Chrome extension as well. So I see recent contacts and I see keep in touch people. I can search for a contact if I search for myself, yeah. Okay, so they basically rebuilt their features but as a Chrome extension so I can keep it not too far away, like close to, to myself. Okay. Well, I think we, we had a look at how it looks. Uh, I think now we have a pretty clear idea on what all these features are and how can I go back? I can't. Okay, got it. Let's review. What I really liked uh, was the Google Contacts integration, even though it didn't seem to work, but I guess it should work or it takes some time. I also loved the ability to export my LinkedIn data and have it index. But then I got a bit confused when uh, I had to filter these contacts because I have 300 LinkedIn contacts and that's actually not that much, but I needed to filter them to 
put them in different buckets, like every one month, every three months, every six months to, to remind me to reach out. And that just felt random and also just didn't, like, it was, would have taken me hours. <laughs> I, 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 I don't see this being a solution. Then the ability to write notes uh, seemed pretty cool. Um, and the fact that they send you an email with all the notes you've taken about someone before your next uh, calendar event, that's awesome. I just love that. If they like, like that, I think that that's their best feature because that makes your notes so powerful and actionable. And on the kind of negative side, what would prevent me from using DAX is really it's it's not action, actionable enough. I'm I don't see what to do. Um, and even if I kind of went through my three hundred contacts and put them in the one month, three months, six months bucket, I'd still be like. Yeah, so now suddenly I got an email, reach out to Johnny, and I'm like, uh, why today? Not Why not tomorrow? It's random, and yeah. And what what if I just reached out to Johnny? Yeah, yeah. so that's something I'm, I'm not sure about. Um, uh, the design is definitely cool. Um, their pricing is steep, uh, $10 a month, that's, that's something. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, feel free to share any feedback in the comments. I'd love to know which other uh, CRM you want me to review uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye